28th of April 2024. This is now the third in the series about fellowship, fellowships, human fellowships, common interest fellowships, self-help group fellowships. And the, the original thought was about the AA fellowship, the Alcohol Anonymous Fellowship where the common purpose of the Alcohol Anonymous group is to stop drinking, to work the steps, to believe in a higher power who can help them, the members of the AA Fellowship, to control alcohol. And the group itself, the Fellowship group, for the common purpose the group itself becomes like God. The group, the fellowship, the people. And bear in mind, we've talked about this many times by now, church is people, ecclesia, the people, the family, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, people, the tribe, the family. And the AA fellowship can be very much like a family, brothers and sisters, with one common purpose, to give up alcohol and to support each other in the bid to give up alcohol. And the higher power, like I said, can be the God of their understanding, each member, and the consensus is the God of the group. The group becomes God. And the group gives advice, support, counsel, comfort, even hugging, even a form of praying for one another to the vague higher power, the God of their understanding. And like I said before, the name of Jesus is not welcomed in most AA fellowship groups. The name of Jesus as the higher power, the highest power, the name above all names, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, God. The way to the Father, by the Son, in the Holy Spirit, and only by the blood of Jesus Christ, through the repentance of sin, can anyone enter in to the kingdom of heaven through Christ. So that's the AA Fellowship, and this is the third in the series, and there will be many other types of fellowships that can be a common interest group that gives a person meaning, a point of living, meaning and purpose, that they are a member of that fellowship group. So what I've got in my mind here now is the DD Fellowship, DD Fellowship, which is very similar to the AJ Fellowship. DD Fellowship are the Daredevils Fellowship, which is very similar to the Adrenaline Junkies Fellowship of like-minded people with a common interest of doing stunts which can be very dangerous. And if you are of a certain age, you'll remember a man called Evil Knievel. A stage name for a showman who would jump across cars, buses, even an attempt on jumping across places like the Grand Canyon. All publicity, all to make money. And Evil Knievel and other people like him, of course, the adrenaline of doing something dangerous, flirting with death, if you like, the adrenaline surge, that becomes the drug addiction adrenaline. Racing car drivers live on the adrenaline. So the fellowship of people who do dangerous things they have this vitality, they say, of feeling alive when they are close to death. 
and base jumping, paragliding, jumping from airplanes at a great height with a, a special suit that you can glide through the air and then they pull the parachute at the last moment and they survive. There are people in these special flying suits, they jump off a mountain and then they fly down a few feet, a few yards to a, two, a, to a few feet off the mountain itself as they're gliding down. And it's all there on YouTube, you can see it for yourself, but of course they will not show the films where people actually get killed flying down the mountain, gliding down the mountain, because those would be horror films. And so people get this adrenaline rush from being part of the AJ Fellowship, Adrenaline Junkies, the key word there is junkie, drug addicts, and daredevils. Doing crazy things. So the fellowship of believers, religion itself can be a type of fellowship. We talked yesterday about the uh, Christian doctrine fellowship, that Christians get together and discuss doctrines and they have fellowship around discussing doctrines. And all of this sounds well and good, you might even say it's like a Bible study, but at the end of the day who is preaching the gospel to the lost? Who is out there talking to the lost? And you might say, and indeed the world is, a very lost place. And there are so many people lost out there, lost in all sorts of fellowships of one sort or another, luncheon clubs, drinking clubs, wine clubs, secret society clubs, social clubs, church clubs, yoga clubs, all sorts of clubs and fellowships on a human level. Humanists. Humanists are human beings who do good things for fellow human beings. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. It's right that human beings care for one another on a human level. Charitable fellowships. Charitable fellowships develop and then they may start a charity, a registered charity, and someone runs it, someone gets paid to run it, and everybody else is a volunteer. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. This is how the world operates its life. We have charities, foundations, trusts, churches, religions, politics, education. This is how the world runs according to its groups and subgroups and interconnected groups and one might say in religious terms ecumenical groups of different types of Christian religions, denominations in an ecumenical fellowship. But now, of course, the spirit of this age is widening that out to multi-faith, quote, ecumenical groups, fellowships. And leaders at the top levels of all the different types of religions, including many forms of Christianity, they meet with other leaders on an international global stage and they're a fellowship of leaders at the very top level. So there's a Pope and an Archbishop and a chief priest, a chief superintendent, leaders of denominations, leaders of church companies, church charities, meeting at the highest level in some form of leadership fellowship at the very highest level. And this is what's happening. This is the state of the world. This is how the world has developed by now, 2024.4 April. Where's it going? 
Well, more of the same, obviously. Denominationalism is set in concrete and people who, with a self-interest, they've got a good job at the top of a denomination or in the middle or even at the lowest levels, but they are paid as employees of the denomination. And why would they change? Why would they see the need to change? They don't think they have to change. We're all on a journey, someone said recently. A journey where? Well, Christian churchgoers would say they're journeying to heaven. Other religions have their own beliefs about heaven or nirvana. And they're going up the mountain of faith. And people have said over the years, all roads lead to God. And God with a G, big G. And there's a claim that all the gods are the same as God, big G. But of course, when you d discover and you ask them, who's the father of the Lord Jesus Christ? Now, certain religions will not say that their God is the father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Certain types of Christian religion, so-called, they will not accept that Jesus himself is God. Emmanuel. God with us. God incarnate. Fully human, but fully God. Well, how can Jesus be the Father and the Son at the same time? When Jesus died on the cross, he died as a fully human, human being, with a human body and a human soul. But his spirit was the spirit of the living God within the man Jesus. If you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. That's what Jesus said. When doubting Thomas doubted about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and Thomas said those immortal words, unless I touch him with my hands, I see him with my eyes, I will not believe. And as he was saying it, Jesus appeared in the room, Thomas. And Thomas fell onto his knees, my Lord and my God. And Jesus didn't correct him. Of course, Jesus was God. Fully human, fully God, the Holy Spirit. And God is spirit. God is truth, God is light. And the uniqueness of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, the only begotten Son of God, not created, only begotten, the same as the Father, the same as the Holy Spirit. God is one. God is not a trinity. We're not Trinitarians. We serve one God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Yahweh, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. That's not five gods. Jesus is also the light and the truth and the way. The living water, the living bread. Jesus, the living God. His Spirit is in us. The body of Christ. Again, I'm going to reiterate it. We are a fellowship of believers, but our fellowship as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, our fellowship is with God, the Holy Spirit, and one another in that order. We are disciples of Christ. We follow Christ. We submit to Christ. We're taught by the Holy Spirit to obey everything that Christ has said, as recorded in the four Gospels in the New Testament and throughout the Bible itself, Old and New Testament. The revealed message from God, the uncreated creator, to his creation, to us. Today, God says, today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, 
today. If you hear my voice, do not harden your heart or you will never enter my rest, says God. To us who listen to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Jesus says today, remain in me and I will remain in you today. Today is the day of salvation. Don't put off till tomorrow what God is calling you to do today, because no one is promised tomorrow. Man is destined to be born once. He dies, he faces judgment. Today is not the day of judgment, today is the day of salvation. And for many out there, now is the time for salvation, this very moment in time. 28th of April, 2024. As God leads, as the will of God the Father, if this video is repeated tomorrow, next week, next year, it is still always today the day for salvation. There'll be people who will not survive today. Currently, they don't know that they've got hours, minutes left. Arguably, they're not listening to this message. They're busy in their lives doing whatever they're doing. Train journey, car journey, on a plane. We must be ready. Clean hands and a pure heart. Who can ascend the holy hill of God? Like I said earlier, many people would say all religions lead to God, meaning the higher power, the, the God of your understanding at the top of the AA fellowship. There is a God of your understanding. Well, I'm sorry, that's a mistaken term. Who can understand God? God has revealed himself to us through the Bible, the proper Holy Spirit-breathed Bible. God has revealed himself to us. But the Holy Spirit is the teacher, the revealer, the counselor. Allow God, the Holy Spirit, to teach you. Faith is a gift from God. If you lack faith, ask, and God will give you the faith with which to believe. The blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony, your testimony, every one of you is born of God by now. The blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony, my testimony, has power over the devil. The devil's a liar. And he cannot refute the testimony that God has given us. Once I was a Freemason. Now I am free by the blood of the Lamb, by the grace of God, the forgiveness of God, the mercy of God. I am free to testify before the court of this world I'm put on trial for my faith and I declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord, the King, the Master, the Teacher, the Rabbi above all Rabbis, the Teacher above all Teachers, the Name above all Names, the King above all Kings, the Lord above all Lords, the Saviour above all Saviours. There's only one way to heaven, Jesus Christ. One way to God the Father, Jesus Christ. By the blood of the Lamb. And today, one person in Norwich, UK, committed their life to you, Jesus, to be born by your grace, by the cleansing of the blood, by his full and genuine rep repentance, faith in the cross that you died for his sins. He gave his life to you today 
and he's forgiven, cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, to receive the Holy Spirit as his teacher, and all the angels are rejoicing. When one sinner repents, and I know, Lord, right across the world there have been many committing their life to you, Jesus, today. Some have fallen away. Some of the seed falls into shallow ground. It doesn't find roots. The roots don't go down. And whatever so-called Christian life they had shriveled up and died. For some, there were weeds growing alongside and those weeds threatened to choke the life out of the plant. Some seed fell on hard ground, the path, the concrete in the mind of people. But a seed can find a crack in the concrete and find its way into the very depth of that person through a crack in the mind. A tiny little mustard seed can, can go through the crack to find the spirit of the person to produce life. And of course, some seed fell into good soil. And that seed went on to produce 30, 60, 100 fold. So let's leave it there. Pray for the person in Norwich, UK, who gave his life to Christ today. That we'll be able to keep encouraging him, to teach him, to grow him up, and to be a, a strong man of God. And it's to your glory, Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Yahweh, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the time for salvation. Accept Christ as your Saviour. Be born again. Be delivered from all evil. Be cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Be filled with the Holy Spirit fire in your human spirit. The temple not built by human hands. Pray for us as we pray for you every blessing in Christ, obedient servants in Christ and of Christ. God bless.